This is the dream of every parent separated from a child at the U.S. border. For this mother from Guatemala, her dream came true Friday when she was reunited with her son. They were separated for a month. Video from the government shows children being held in cages. They are also held in tents and shelters throughout the U.S., like this one in Oregon. Photos of the children living here are not allowed. Doctors warn of possible permanent damage the separations may cause. It may take a long time for this trauma to be resolved and these children to be healed. I've had multiple kids tell me about um, sort of being, you know, feeling very cold, um, not eating enough, um, not having, you know, supports of like their parents or adults um, that care about them, and that that was very, very distressing for them. Miriam Golden treats traumatized children at the Gill Institute for Trauma Recovery and Education. When you rock a child, uh, they can hear your heart rate, you can hear their heart rate, and it's through that co-regulation that children can be soothed. A parent's touch teaches a child they are being taken care of and loved. It's a particularly really bad challenge for, for even younger children who, um, who, if they're not touched and engaged with, um, can become despondent and, and have very significant uh, developmental sequelae if they are not having the support and touch and engagement with a, an adult. Without this support, children don't learn how to relate to others. They lose the ability to trust. They can withdraw and not even show happiness if they are reunited with their parents. We know from science, the adverse childhood um, experiences a study that needs that children have when they are little, needs that are not met, do lead to long-term problems, not only mental health issues, but um, other related health issues. Not every child will have permanent health problems, but young children are the most vulnerable, and the separation from a parent can compound the stress they may have already experienced in unsafe conditions in their home countries. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.